Part 2. Dishonest left-wing tactics. A popular gay agenda outing everyone includes revealing prominent historical figures as supposedly gay, eliciting popularity and social acceptance. People like Robin Hood, according to the original legend, and military leader Alexander the Great having practiced homosexuality is amazing. However, they weren't Christians. Neither were Giacomo Casanova or Hugh Hefner, both having had numerous homosexual dalliances though predominantly straight, and known for being straight, and claiming others as gay, such as Leonardo da Vinci, Piotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky, and Oscar Wilde is unfair. These men considered their same-sex attraction an unwanted characteristic, which distressed them. Besides, homosexual orientation does not equal gay. This three-letter word is loaded with political implications, the liberal philosophy of cultural Marxism, and other baggage. A coffee cup featured numerous fancy doors and shuttered windows. After pouring a hot drink, the doors dematerialized, revealing the so-called closeted gay people of history underneath. It didn't matter whether they were openly gay, gay and closeted, had unwanted homosexual tendencies, or were straight in real life, the propaganda was alluring. Another tactic is accusing everyone with anti-gay sentiment of being subconsciously gay, fearful, and self-hating, and condemning anyone who doesn't completely agree with gay agendas as hateful. Bisexuals are variously considered supporters of the gay community instead of members uh, confused, they're all hustlers, or even traitors. Biphobia. Oftentimes, LGBTQQF plus groups are only pretend to care about those other categories of people and only support gays and lesbians. Notably, gays and lesbians who, who never had relations with the opposite sex have awarded themselves gold star status and gay men who were born via cesarean section, so they never touched a vagina at all, were, have awarded themselves platinum star status. And bullying, it sounds to me it sounds ridiculous, and bullying in sexual schools has nothing to do with religion. Straights usually bully straights. Gay students have bullied straight students. It, it has happened. The, the so-called 10% gay myth is a common tactic. Uh, this statistic originated from Alfred Kinsey's uh, survey involving only 12,000 people, admittedly using selected samples as well, uh, not random. Subsequent surveys throughout the world involving over a million people discovered that it's less than 2%. Besides, countries lacking a survey are anti-gay. Since homosexuals would logically flee such countries and relocate elsewhere, this likely brings it down to below 1% worldwide. Uh, the number could fluctuate based on the uh, generation, though, as well. So if the number of people who identify as homosexual inflates dramatically, we know that being born with such procl proclivities cannot be the main factor for these subsequent generations. Also consider that that if uh, GLBT people, it used, it used to start, the acronym used to start with the G, that's why you sometimes say GLBT, uh, consider that, that uh, GLBT people have friends and family members joining them in a gay parade, these parades could be two-thirds straight. Think about it. Atheists surreptitiously befriend homosexuals, insisting that all religion harms alternative people. Even if believers are loving and caring, various atheists continue to pound their uh, bass drum of, of rhetoric. My best friend's atheist friend, a political campaigner, encouraged him to celebrate his gayness. Since my friend expressed hopelessness, filling his emptiness with chain smoking and alcohol abuse, and nihilism and all the negativity, I introduced him to Christianity. After his atheist friend found out, she provoked my friend to spew irrational diatribe towards Christianity. However, a mutual friend who also identified as, as gay in, inquired about the woman's uh, son's sexuality, uh, her son was uh, slightly underage. Uh, the woman immediately became furious, declaring, uh, that's a parent's worst nightmare. Therefore, her phoniness was exposed. Besides, many women gravitate uh, towards gay men in order to use them. These relationships are not reciprocal. This is fully documented. Some anti-religious people associate with alternative people to get them to support their cause, while others surround themselves with those whom they look down upon to feel superior. It has been said offensively, a fag is a homosexual gentleman who has left the room. Uh, I would never say that, but others have uh, said that. Besides, we cannot dump on religion. Atheist governments have executed homosexuals because they supposedly 
week in the state. Notably, Jewish persons have, have done more to promote gay interests than any other group, while Jews are one of the most anti-gay groups of people. Internet videos document and explain this phenomenon. Loving committed uh, couples in same-sex romance. The early church decried unrestrained debauchery, not same-sex attraction or romance. Homophobia, demonizing gayness, and denying basic rights is a Protestant creation. And later, a creation barring gays from teaching is also unfounded. Ancient Greek uh, teaching mentors were sexually diverse. We take many ideas from them, including the term Rhodes Scholar. Love is so astronomically important and scarce, some search for it anywhere. However, youths typically come out as teenagers, but don't commit to stable loving relationships until their late 40s. Lives are spent on spider webby, I love that word, <laughs> spider webby, it's interesting, spider webby trysts. Trysts, or how do you pronounce it, unable to produce love. Comparing thousands of men seeking men internet advertisements against thousands of men seeking women and women seeking men advertisements is enlightening. Heterosexual advertisements are predominantly relationship oriented, while virtually all male homosexual advertisements are primarily sex oriented. Nude pictures abound. Uh, men see their partners' privates before even knowing their name. A common refrain amongst gays is that gay relationships are measured in dog years. What they mean by that is it, they usually last a fraction of the length of straight relationships. This may be from parents having taught their boys a heterosexual outlook, respect towards women, and rivalry towards males while failing to address sexuality per se, resulting in a dysfunctional dichotomy. And fully committed, loving, lifetime relationships amongst gay men are rare. Many so-called partnerships are open relationships. Even with those who desire committed relationships, how many are merely motivated by financial and legal benefits? And or the GLBT, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, today it's Q++++, rainbow flag was designed in 1978 by Sister of per Perpetual Indulgence, Gilbert Baker, he called himself a Sister Chanel 2001. The sister's primary focus, even, even today, is kinky, promiscuous sex, pagan spirituality, and anti-Catholic filibustering. Although these extremists do not represent the gay community at large, gays, both secular and religious, have gotten their impetus from the sisters. Late Fox Valley Gay Association President Lee Schrank, his committed partner Bill, and a man named Fern a virtually campaigned for the entire organization for a quarter century while others sat back. Lee bitterly said, 85% of them, he referred to gay, gay men, aren't worth the powder it takes to blow them away with. And he had met thousands. After Lee's passing, deaths from AIDS and uncaring non-participants caused F. Of VGA's dissolution, and Bill became reclusive. Foremost mover and shaker within the gay community, Larry Kramer preached on the tragedy of today's gays. To further illustrate his point, Larry's satirical novel, Faggots, and that's what he named it, uh, por pornographically punctuated Fred Lemish's entanglement in gay culture's labyrinthine web amidst futile pursuit of elusive lover, Dinky Adams. Larry's novel also featured a hand-packed husband who wasn't even allowed to use his own toilet, which would have prevented his wife from keeping it so sparkling clean you could eat out of it. <laughs> In the 1980s, Bill Krause, tireless congressional gay advocate, felt crushed by opponents who labeled him a self-hating uh, tyrant who dared infringe on near-anonymous sexual encounters or so-called freedom. Twenty years of subsequent decimation by AIDS forcibly changed their agenda, yet promiscuity, and unprotected sex have reverted to pre-AIDS rates, masking STD cases such as acquiring catatonic schizophrenia through so-called unknown illness creates the dangerous delusion of safety. Although health workers inundate gay hangouts with condoms, most condoms merely decorate venues instead of being used. Besides, extreme practices exist among homosexuals, which even most gays find offensive. Although only one to 5% practice these things, around 0% of heterosexual couples practice them. Clearly, many lack the healthy boundaries and nurturing qualities that women provide. You must see part three, four, etc. Take care.